guys, Ken Domic here on the Golden Princess Cruise from Vancouver to Anchorage, Alaska. And when my wife and I were trying to discover all the different things we wanted to add to our cruise package, one of the things we were thinking about was the drink package, which is over $600 for the seven days. And you're thinking, well, how much, how much can you possibly drink in, uh, in seven days? And uh, I think, I think it, it, the, the drink package covers beer, wine, uh, all your drinks, uh, your pop, your special coffees and things. As long as the drink is, doesn't go over $12, if it does go over $12, then they charge you that little extra. So if it went over by 50 cents, they would charge you 50 cents. And you have a card, just like this. And you, every time you want a drink, you swipe the card, or they take the card, they swipe it, they give you your drink, everything's done. So was, we didn't get the, we ended up not getting the package because there's no way we would probably use up those 15 drinks per person. So 30 drinks per day, that's a lot of drinks. So we decided not to get it. And, uh, but one of our questions was, how much does a beer cost on a cruise ship? How much does a drink cost on a cruise ship? And uh, I have the answers for you because we looked everywhere for the answers and nobody talked about the prices. So, uh, this, just to give you an idea, a regular bottle of Bud Light, Budweiser uh, is six dollars and twenty-five cents American, and then there's like Michelob Ultra, which was six seventy-five. Uh, the most expensive beer is like the six seventy-five. So Tiger, um, Pilsner, and a bunch of other drinks. I'll put a list maybe on the screen while I'm yapping. Uh, but the biggest. I think the best deal you can get is this big, huge 750 milliliter can of Foster's, which is $10 after taxes. It's $11.80 American, uh, but it's basically two beers, uh, and it's cheaper than two beers. So, been an announcement. It's getting really windy here. Um, so, I'm not sure exactly how much I've drank, drunk uh, over the last. Five, six days because tomorrow today's our last day on the cruise ship we get off tomorrow but I just wanted to give you guys an idea I guess I should have showed you some of the other drinks I've been trying to do this video for like 20 minutes it's either windy or there's a problem or whatever and now there's announcements uh, so a Mai Tai was eight dollars and seventy five cents uh, a Caribbean island iced tea is ten dollars uh, what's another expensive drink most of them are under ten dollars. A margarita is nine seventy-five. The captain's bounty, which is a really good drink, was eight dollars and twenty-five cents. And then you have the, the daiquiris and the pina coladas, which is eight seventy-five. And a dirty banana, which I have, which is really good, is nine twenty-five. So if you think you're going to drink fifteen drinks a day, then it's worth it. Uh, if you're just gonna have a few drinks a day, then don't get the, the drink package. You'll be wasting your money. Uh, when you go into some of the buffet areas, you get unlimited iced tea, water, coffee, regular tea. All those things are covered under your package. And uh, so that's uh, the drink package, guys. If you're gonna drink a lot, get the drink package. If you're not, you can get these beers. Like I said, it's cheaper than two beers, and it's more beer in one big can. Uh, if you drink slowly, it might get warm, but not on an Alaska cruise. It's nice and cold here. Anyway, guys. If I make this video just to help out those people who are trying to make that decision of whether or not to get the drink package. Cheers. Operation.